Convert each of the following functions to the form y equals a times 1 over x minus h plus k. Identify the stretches and translations, then draw the graph without using technology. In part a, graph y equals 1 minus 2x over x. Split the fraction. The x's cancel, giving us y equals 1 over x minus 2. The graph is vertically translated two units down. In part b, graph y equals x minus 1 over x minus 2. If we try and split the fraction, we don't get a usable result. When we have a rational function of the form y equals p of x over d of x, where both p of x and d of x are linear functions, we can use a technique, similar to completing the square, that helps us convert the rational function to general form. We write the function y equals x minus 1 over x minus 2. Plug the denominator into the numerator. Leave a space after the brackets. We subtracted 2 in the numerator, so undo this by adding 2. Simplify. Split the fraction. Reduce. Reorder to get y equals 1 over x minus 2 plus 1. There is a horizontal translation 2 units right and a vertical translation 1 unit up. In part c, graph y equals 6 minus 2x over x minus 1. Rewrite the function. Rearrange the numerator so the term with x is first. Plug the denominator into the numerator. Leave a space after the brackets. We added 2 in the numerator, so undo this by subtracting 2. Simplify. Split the fraction. Reduce. Reorder to get y equals 4 over x minus 1 minus 2. There is a vertical stretch by a scale factor of 4, a horizontal translation 1 unit right, and a vertical translation 2 units down. In part d, graph y equals 33 minus 6x over x minus 5. Rewrite the function. Rearrange the numerator so the term with x is first. Plug the denominator into the numerator. Leave a space after the brackets. We added 30 in the numerator, so undo this by subtracting 30. Simplify. Split the fraction. Reduce. Reorder to get y equals 3 over x minus 5 minus 6.
there is a vertical stretch by a scale factor of 3, a horizontal translation 5 units right, and a vertical translation 6 units down.